Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a little mini bag flip tutorial. Now, this is great for when you don't have any little mini bags. So all you need is a six inch square piece of paper, some adhesive, some things to put inside of your bag, extra papers, washi, stickers, whatever you want to decorate, and that is it. So it's really simple. So get your piece of six inch by six inch square paper. You're gonna flip it over to the back going to make a fold. I like to use a bone folder to help me press it down a little bit. And then you're going to fold over the other side of your paper just so that it will overlap a little bit so that it will look something like that. And then what you want to do is run some adhesive or place some glue here along this edge. This will be the bottom part of our bag. So I'm using the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. This is my favorite adhesive, so that's why I'm using it. Go ahead and fold over. And then I'm also going to run this adhesive down the side of this little flap. I personally don't worry so much about the exact dimensions that I fold in because this seems to give me a pretty good size bag that I can work with. So at this point you have something that looks like this, kind of a long pocket. So with the seam side at the back, you want to fold the bottom up. And I usually do about like maybe an inch and a half, two inches, just kind of depends. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going for something like this. So then go ahead and grab some more adhesive. For this part, I'm going to be using some Tombow Extreme Tabs because they give just a little bit of dimension and space in the pocket for me to put some goodies. So unfold the bit that will become your pocket and place your adhesive tabs on there. I like to cut them in half so that they're a little bit thinner so I have a little bit more room for goodies on the inside. Remove the backings like so and then you just fold it up and there is your little mini bag. So you have a little pocket here, one back here. There's a little bit of space in there for you to put some goodies. And then as a finishing touch, I'm going to cover the front of this pocket with some of this floral paper. So I'm just going to get a pencil and cut this down a little bit. And then that will help cover up the seam. I think I'm going to put some washi tape down here at the bottom where the paper split just a little bit. I think that will be a nice little decorative element anyway. I'll go ahead and do that. Do something that looks like that. And then it's time to start filling up this little bag. So one more thing I am going to do, and this is totally optional, is I'm going to cut the very top with these pinking shears that I use just for paper. If you have decorative scissors, this would be a great way to make use of them. I think it just adds a little bit of extra cuteness. So this is our little bag that we've created. So let's go ahead and start filling it up. So first I have this little paper clip bag. I have a tutorial on this, which I will link down below. I have this pretty die cut that has the pink florals on there. So I thought that'd be cute right there. And then a little shaker pocket that I created, which I also have a video on. Some of these little DIY things might not be up on my channel quite yet, but do keep an eye out because they will be up soon if they are not already. I also have this little glassine bag, which is some stickers in there, and this really cute little bow brat that I thought would be really fun. So I'm going to fold over this bag, leaving plenty of room between where the stickers end and the fold is. And I'm just going to punch a couple of holes in here and then use the brad to keep it closed, like so. So I think that will probably go on the inside. So I also have a couple of little die cuts that I thought would be cute. Go in here, so do that. Maybe this little bow thing can kind of poke out the top a little bit little shaker thing. I also have this piece of wood that's in the shape of glasses, which I thought would be really cute to put in here. A really pretty white bow that I wanted to share. 
a little bit of washi maybe this can fit in the front this handmade rosette that i created it has a really pretty like fabric banner thing on it so i thought this would be really pretty to go in here as well if it will fit <laughs> yeah it does i think so just kind of readjusting so things look kind of nice i am going to go ahead and add a chipboard sticker to the front of this as well i'm going to add a little bit of extreme adhesive just to make sure it stays in place that's really cute and then lastly i have this little like wood veneer arrow that i thought would be fun to include so that is it for my mini bag flip today i hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you create some of your own especially seeing how easy they are to make out of six by six paper that you probably already have my friend serena actually got me started on these little mini bag flips i think they're so cute and she has a really great video on them which i will link down below in case you guys want to check it out but this is my version using paper and making your own bag so i hope you guys enjoyed it please make sure to subscribe if you are not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye